So today I will show you our kind of homeschooling routine whilst we're in Singapore. If you've been watching these vlogs for a while, you'll know that I am not very good at kind of doing the homeschooling when it's just Stephen and we kind of just hadn't really been doing anything since September when he finished, well, since July, since he finished in, in school in England. But whilst we're here in Singapore, the volunteering stuff that we are doing, it's part of it is doing like homeschooling with the boy that lives here. So we are kind of Monday to Friday, we're sitting down and we're doing some things. So I figured I'd kind of show you sort of my routine of sort of what that is. So normally sort of Monday to Friday, I get up about half past seven. I'm trying to get up earlier, but I'm not quite making it yet. I would like to be getting up at half past six, but at the moment it's half past seven. Going out for one, I took the dogs out with me this morning. And I kind of just come back, get a shower, I do some editing, do a bit of work for myself, uh, for the YouTube, for the for YouTube gaming, and obviously for the vlogging channel. Hello, dog's come to see me. Hey, hey. And then I spend about half an hour sort of looking, researching into some things that we could maybe look at on that day. We have been looking at Romans, and so I've just been trying to find some like little activities or any videos or things that we can watch. And normally we tend to start about quarter past half past ten, but it's not quite happening this morning. It's gotten to at eleven o'clock, and Stephen's up. Um, the other boy isn't up. I'm going to try and see if I can wake him so we can get started. We normally do three four hours or so and stuff. So I found like some like Roman resources, games and stuff that we can maybe have a little play of. And also we've been watching this series on YouTube. All about Rome. We've just finished. Well, we did episode three the other day, so we could maybe watch episode four today. I kind of just looking around. Like I go on BBC Bite Size, um, Prime Resources. It's kind of good for me. There's also is it Khan Academy. I haven't actually used that yet. I might, um, I might try that one. Uh, yeah. So this is Khan Academy. I've heard some good things about it on. So like the Facebook groups and stuff that I'm in, so I maybe have a little little look at this. It is like an American, like math by grade. I don't understand what these grades are. High school? Like for an 11, 12 year old? I've no clue. Anyway, I will have a little look at this website. I've spoken before about sort of not really knowing what our plans are and Stephen has said a couple of months ago, he said that he would like to go back to England and go to school. I don't know what my ultimate choice decision will be but I think once like now I've started looking into I think in England it was or when Stephen was younger I never really thought of there was any other option it was just right he was four he went like he was three he went to nursery he was four he went to school and I never sort of knew of anything else particularly and now once I started looking into world schooling and stuff I really like the idea of it and I think I kind of have I I kind of now don't really agree with the system in England and how schooling is done and I don't know I just don't really like it so much and so for me the thought of going back I mean I, per I don't want to go back to England for personal reasons I want to com like completely you know try and travel uh, as much as possible but I just don't agree with the system for Stephen to go to school in and I don't know I, mean, I don't think that it's actual school that Stephen wants it's the social aspect of it and you know seeing friends and everything and obviously that's important I don't know I'm just sort of figuring it out and I think it's getting to a point where I need to make a decision on where where we go from here and do we need to settle somewhere and like get involved in homeschooling groups and things um, do we need to go home I don't know I, it's I'm trying to figure it out as I go and hopefully uh, will come to the right decision and I think it's always just a process of constantly questioning what you're doing and if it becomes a point if there becomes a point where he want like he really does want to like he want for learning sake or whatever and I think then yeah absolutely school will be the thing to do but whilst it's just for the social element I think that we can try and find that elsewhere and try and do school stuff uh, at home or on the road or whatever. This is good for me being at this uh, work away because, like I said, we've never done any homeschool. We've never done any schooling at all. It's just been travel and visiting places and things. And yeah, it's just interesting to kind of see how other people do it. I'm going to try and see maybe if I can meet up with if there's any homeschoolers, homeschooling groups um, 
in Singapore that we can maybe meet up with so I can get any any more information or sort of points of view of different people and things and go from there. It's just suddenly started lashing down. I'm glad we're inside. Pretty much can't see a thing out here now. It's madness. It'd be gloriously sunny in a little bit. Forest of Death. We're gonna watch one of our Roman videos now. Um, trying to build new alliances with the barbarians, they begin after some time to send expeditions across the Rhine uh, both to try to pacify the area but also to regain their lost honor. We kind of done with school and I couldn't really film too much of it because I don't know how much um, how much kind of they want me to film like doing the school and with the other boy but yeah I mean it just was a few hours of so we'll kind of get into it to be consistent with it and yeah my approach before was crap and I don't know what I was thinking like leave it all down to Stephen to do and he's just not going to do that he needs some guidance so yeah taking this one out for a walk now the one wouldn't come it has stopped raining but it's going to be soaking wet everywhere I think it's funny when I've got the dogs like when the lift opens the lift just opened there quite a lot of people won't get in the lift with the dog, they're quite scared of dogs here in Asia. I definitely feel more confident in terms of what um, what I can do in the future with Stephen. I've also just been in contact with oh my earphones. Been in contact with uh, Singapore Mums Facebook group. They have meetings every Tuesday and Wednesday, so I'm going to see if we can maybe go to one of their like little meetups, possibly tomorrow or Wednesday, obviously. Before, I was kind of wanting Stephen to kind of get up and just get on with things himself. Like, me have no like, role to play whatsoever. I think I'd read somewhere something about like independent learning and by like his age they should sort of be wanting to learn. But they are children who have always been homeschooled and obviously Stephen isn't used to that. He is used to being in school, being told what to do and so he kind of needs that a little bit to start with. So, I think, I'm getting tangled up with the dogs. I think when we leave here, it's definitely going to be something that I continue, even if it's just like an hour a day or something. Like, find topics or whatever and things and look at them together. Just watch videos. I definitely feel more positive that I can now help him learn. I don't know what I was thinking before. I have no idea. I don't know. I think when all we've been used to, obviously for 11 years, well, well, Stephen wasn't in education for 11 years, but he was in the English, the British schooling system from being three right through 11. It's hard to know what else to do and how else you can do things and honestly most people that you talk to, most people I know, don't really understand or agree with homeschooling, world schooling, any of that stuff. And to be honest I kind of don't think, I think I can't be bothered, it's not my job to convince you or whatever, that I'm doing what I think is alright at the moment, if it turns out that it's not okay. Uh, then you know we'll change we're adaptable and we'll change to whatever is needed at the time I do think people's opinions on homeschooling is very what I find odd is that people just go with oh it's slippy <laughs> people just go with the system is that they don't think about what is I know well personally I know that I didn't particularly look into schools or anything for Stephen it was just right this was the nearest nursery and it was a good nursery he went there. This is the nearest school. I went there when I was a kid. It's a very good school. He go there. I didn't look into all the options or I know people do look into options in terms of what school their kid goes to or whatever or and it was like when he came to secondary school it was sort of well he'll just go to Ormsgate School, our town school. But well why will he? Is that the best thing for him? Is it I know there are other options in terms of schooling and I find it odd that people who go down the route of, you know, what society say 
what society says is like the norm, the, the correct thing to do, I suppose. I don't question you about that, so I don't understand why people question and say, oh, that, that's ridiculous, you're not going to school. Well, why is your kid in school? Like, <laughs> it may sound daft, but like, why is your kid in school? Can, is, is there a reason? Have you actually thought about it? Or have you just put them into school because that's what society says that you should do? I think it's just far too easy in life generally to anyone who's doing something slightly different than the norm things like, like veganism for example let's hit, let's have a go at all the crazy vegans let's have a go at all the crazy homeschooling people well what is to say that what like are we offending you are we doing something wrong i don't think so so <laughs> in fact why why do you think that you're doing what you're doing is so much better and so much righter than what I'm doing. But anyway, that's my little sort of homeschooling rant. It's an ongoing learning process for me and don't know where it's going to end up, obviously. Hello you. <laughs> oh, it's cold in here. Oh, did you turn it on or? Yeah. yeah. What would you like to do? Nothing. You don't want to do anything? No. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my feet are so warm. I had to wear my um, my trainers because I got an almighty blister. And it's, I don't know, my flip-flops are hurting my feet at the 